all Zatball Pythons. We're going to do an update on clutch number eight. This was Penny's clutch. Penny is a pastel inchy. She was bred to Tarzan, the inchy fire yellow belly. And here we have a really nice yellow belly ball python. You can see the flames, the different colored flames there. They're like orangish. They're like orange flames. And there you can see the belly typical yellow belly belly oh no wait dude you're next you can't you go back in there you can't uh anyways so yeah yellow belly pattern that's yellow belly i'm going to go through these quick because i have a lot of them to do so here we have let me get that straightened out there and that one now shouldn't be bouncing around as much here we have a fire what i was uh really looking at here is how pretty the coloration is on that fire that is just really pretty. I'm not sure on the sexes yet. I haven't sexed them. Uh, I probably did sex them but forgot because there's, you know, these guys are ready to be set up. Now, we are going to get a, get one out that is different. Okay. So, instead of bringing out one, I'm going to bring out all of them because I'm not 100% sure what all of these genes are. I mean, they're so close to being... They're just so close. I'm just going to tell you what I think they are. I thought I had three super inches, but now I'm going to back it up a little and say I'm not sure about this one. I'm thinking this one isn't maybe not a super inchy, just maybe, but I think it, it is, but I don't know. Uh, no, that's not it. This one definitely is a super inch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was looking at the head going, oh, is pastel? I don't know. I don't know. I think this one is not maybe not a super inchy that's the, okay that's it i think this one is a pastel inchy um pastel inchy fire yellow belly maybe i think so i'm gonna go with that for this one pastel inchy fire yellow belly he is gorgeous though i think he's a he If I'm not mistaken. I, I can't remember 100%, but I think that's a he. So that's that's a four banger there. Four gene animal. Technical talk. Just kidding. Um, then we have two supers here. And I know they're supers, but they're not just super inchies. They are super inchy. This one is, I believe, well, I'm just going to show you one at a time. I believe this one is a super inchy fire could have yellow belly but I don't see the yellow belly influence around the belly on that I could be wrong this could be the one that is yellow belly let me look again uh, yeah I think this one is a super inchy maybe fire yellow but might that might be the quad or that might be the quad I'm not sure one of them is the quad I'm thinking it was this one because of the coloration uh, but this one definitely has fire and I believe yellow belly as well if you look at the orange flames coming up I'm thinking that's the inchy fire, I mean the super inchy fire yellow belly right there. And then this one I think is a super inchy fire or yellow belly. The flames aren't quite as intense as those on the other as far as the orange goes. I don't see any orange flames on this side at all. And only that little bit right there and that's not even really orange. I guess it could be considered that, but it's not. So I'm thinking this one could be super inchy yellow belly. It's really clean. It's nice and clean. I like that. And then we have here. This is the one I believe is the the quad or the uh, the other one was a quad. This is a uh, I don't even know what the five gene thing is. The penta. <laughs> I'm not going into that. This is what I believe is the uh, Super inchy fire yellow belly. Now I have one that has I've had for a while. It's a little older. I'm not gonna get her and show you or anything because I have other clutches to go through. So that's just what I'm thinking these are. If you know differently, that's fine. You can know differently. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet. They're super inchies and I really would like to have an arsenal of these. Just so when I do breed something that I want inchy in for sure, I'll get it, <laughs> no doubt. Um, it kind of looks like 
uh, if you look into the head stamp on this one, it just those little dots and stuff on the head stamp, it kind of makes it look like, to me, kind of like somebody's uh, profile or not, not an actual profile, kind of like they're looking off to the side a little bit, like a face, like a human face in there. Anyways, that's just me. I see stuff. Maybe stuff that's not there. Maybe stuff that is. Hello. All right. So there we go. This one is the one that really had me confused, but I don't think it's super inchy now after just kind of looking. I don't know. It might be super inchy, but I don't know. I'm not 100%, but I love it. And I know this one's staying here, whether it's male, female, or what. Um, this is going to be a part of my breeding projects in the future. And I know you can't blame me for that. But we are going to have to get on with the next clutch. So we've been six minutes on this clutch. We're not going to be able to do all the clutches. Because i got some talking to do on some of the others. So what we'll do is we'll just stop it here and we'll pick back up with the next clutch. Okay, so this one is clutch number nine. This was the Blackhead Red Jean Mojave ringer jean to a firefly calico and i was thinking it was partho but now i'm thinking it wasn't partho because I, that looks like it could be now this is the one that had the cleft lip it's the only one i thought they were all going to be messed up in the clutch but it's the only one that had any problem somebody's already spoken for him you see how his face his little all right now focus there we go you can see how his face does there he's not like bad shark mouth or anything so he'll he'll be fine i'm sure he'll eat fine uh but yeah someone has already spoken for him he's still in shed he's the only one that hasn't shed um he looks like he could be like a blackhead red jean maybe um i don't really think it's um i don't think it's calico i thought it was calico in the when it was in the, I guess I'll know more when it does shed out for sure, but either way, it's already spoken for. Uh, it could be calico. There's a lot of pink down here. Anyhow, I don't think it was a, I don't think it was a partho clutch because I believe these two, this one and that little one right there, I believe these two are red jeans, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what they are. Uh, it's not... I don't think they're fire. They don't have the fire. Really, Well, that one does. It could be a fire, I guess. I haven't really produced fires that looked quite like that. It's really pretty. It's just like... Maybe it's a like a fire red jean or something. I don't know. Or something. I mean, see how the whites come all the way up the edges? All the way up, all the way up. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I'm I'm guessing at red jean or something or fiery red jean or something. I don't even know. Most of my fires don't come out this color. They come out more of a well, like the last one that I just showed you a while ago. They look more like that. But they don't have this coloration. Not the ones that I produce. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty awesome. Pretty darn awesome. Now, why did I put that little guy in the wrong spot? Come here. Come here, little guy. You can go in there. That way I can keep an eye on you. So this one, um, I was thinking it was the same thing as this one. But now that I'm looking at them again, side by side, maybe there's something different about them. Maybe. I don't know. I think they're the same thing, though. This one's just way bigger, like twice the size of this one. Uh yeah so there we go um anybody that's worked with red gene or ringer gene you know you can chime in i don't think it was a partho clutch because there are, i believe there were males in the clutch too so there's no partho that throws males because the female that throws the partho doesn't have the y gene or the x gene whichever one is determines the male sex so this is a pastel in the clutch possible red jean i'm thinking it might be you see how the whites are still coming up there that's pretty cool if it is it's really clean it's nice and clean um just amazing looking 
uh, pastels are usually dirty. They usually have a lot of, not dirty like, oh, no, I need to wash it, but like little specks all in the sides of whatever. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, so I don't think I hit in on any like actual just blackhead like I did in the, you know, some of the other clutches where I bred the blackhead Mojave boy. Didn't hit anything Mojave. Um, I was, after looking at this one real close, I'm, I was thinking maybe he's like a blackhead red jean or something because his head's not black. So I was thinking maybe he was a blackhead red jean, but he could be a calico red jean or something. I don't know. I mean, the red jean is something that is codom and it does have a super form. So it does affect the look of things. I just don't know much about how to tell without, you know, it being in blackhead. So there we go. Um, this is really a cool pastel though. I don't believe it's Firefly because the pattern doesn't, to me, doesn't look, doesn't scream Firefly. It just scream pastel something but not fire um the head's not really washed out that much which a fire makes the head white like a super pastel when it's in pastel so it's and fireflies aren't really this clean generally so i'm thinking maybe pastel red jean I, I haven't done a lot of research on the red jean so i should probably look up some pastel red jeans before calling it a pastel red jean <laughs> Uh, just to see, but I, it has like this this peachy looking color inside the alien heads. It, the camera's not picking it up that well, but it, it it's there. It's a little bit of a peachy kind of a tint. Yeah. Anyhow, that's this clutch. Now, it should have had because this clutch was six jeans involved seven jeans. It could have been a really awesome clutch for me, but it wasn't. So, oh well. Next time. All right. So, we are going to put these up and get another clutch. Okay. So, this is the clutch that had the pastel leopards that had most of the clutch not make it. I did a graphic warning on the label of it and said we were going to... It was gross, and so we were going to try to see if we could save any of the babies. Well, this one came out perfectly healthy, just so you know. This is a nice, fat, perfectly healthy, normal, 100% het for lavender albino. Just gorgeous and as healthy as can be. And if, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's a girl. Let me see. Yeah, it's a female. So, thank God it's a female. Uh, and... She's tied herself into a knot here. Come back, baby. Let's show them how pretty you really are. So there we go. 100% hit for lavender albino. Now, just stay there. And we're going to get... We're going to get the little one out. Since it was such a bad clutch. This is the last one that was in the last egg. This one still hasn't shed all the way. But I have assisted a couple of times. Mouse pinky. Each time. It's like one little mouse pinky will... Just wear this little thing out. I don't even want to try to shoot for two. It's so tiny. Um, and it probably weighs not anything at all. Well, I, I don't know if you guys remember. I thought I was going to have to ligate. So I was going to teach people on film how to ligate. Um, and then it was, it was like as we took it out. It's, see how it's, like it was curling around its own umbilicus and stuff that was hardened. And I took it out and I thought, oh no, it's kinked. But guess what? Nope. Not at all. No kinks. It's just a perfectly beautiful, just, I mean, when I say beautiful, I mean, wait till it sheds out and get started eating. I think it's going to make it. I'm keeping both of these leopards uh, because I really want to do leopard lavender stuff. Oh, great. You're going to pee on me now? You peed in my little, you peed on my little station here? How rude. That's so rude. Why would you do that? Ugh. You pee in your own house. You don't pee in mine. All right. So there we go. We have clean up on aisle seven. <laughs> All right. There we go. I love how that looks. It's just a beautiful baby. B E A beautiful. So now, <laughs> here we go. Look at that. This one has already been assist fed twice because it was so little when it came out. It wasn't as little as the other one. This one's actually twice as big as the other one. Hmm. 
So there we go. Pastel Leopard 100% hat for Lavender Albino finally. And it's a boy, so hopefully by the end of next season I'll be having clutches from him. And maybe we'll see some Leopard Lavender Albinos and Pastel Lavender Albinos and Pastel Leopard Lavender Albinos. So, there we go. Did we make it? We might have. Alright, so it's been 15 minutes on this video. I think I'm going to do a different video now with the other clutches. So, I'll leave this as the end because this is a good and nice fitting for an end. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Can't wait to be showing you this one's babies. I do believe they're going to make it. Um, not a hundred percent sure about the little one, but this one I am pretty sure about. So even though the clutch was a wreck, uh, just an awful train wreck, something good came out of it. So thanks guys for all your support through that. It was, it was really rough just watching, you know, like as I was cutting and everything, it was like trying to cut anyways. They were just, anyways, I'm not getting back into that. Let's just end it on a good note. So there we go. Here's this little beauty right there. Um, actually, for those of you who have watched to the very end to see this, I'm going to let you guys name him. Um, he's a cool dude, so let's get a cool name for him. All right. I'm thinking Ragna. I like that. Yeah. I like Ragna. So, there we go. This is Mark. The ball's out. Out.